Too many beers last night, bro. Feeling rough, bro. Real rough. Go get him, boy. Good dog. Got a bit of an improvement on last year's ripple maker. She's an upmarket one. We'll have these for sale. Eighty-nine dollars a pop. If anyone wants to buy one, just uh, send me an email. That's the Turbo Ripple Maker. Got a copyright on that. Yeah, <laughs> nailed him. Go get him, boy. Did you get that other one? Go get him! Yeah. Fuck that, I'm still alive. Did it dive? Yeah, again. Oh, did you, did you shoot that one again too? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, you're a good dog. Drop it there. Good dog. Grey duck. All yours, bro. Leave it, you. Go get him, boy. Dude, you shot my duck. <laughs> Go get him, boy. Go get him. Go get him! That was good. You should have brought me duck hunting. I know, we'll go duck hunting when I get back, eh? Dude. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the less glamorous side of shooting ducks, is the plucking. Luckily I've got a couple of helpers. Did the duck fart? Did the duck fart? <laughs> yes. Yes, ducks do fart. <laughs> That's it. Keep plucking them. You got a spoon bill there. That's a spoonie. These are mallards. This just had hundreds on it, bro. Before duck shooting. They were feeding down here on that island. Oh, hello. It's Sunday morning, opening day was yesterday, we nailed about 18 or 19, it was pretty dismal, not many ducks flying around today, and uh, we've come to another pond that our mate assured us there'd be heaps of ducks on there, but he's just up in the house up there, sleeping, he's not here shooting, and we've had four ducks come in. Uh, we've shot some of those, but they're all off in the trees, and the bloody dog's not going to get them. She reckons it's her job to get them off the water, and then as soon as she's got them off the pond, it's up to us to go walk around in the blackberries and crap and get them out of the blackberries. <laughs> it's a bit shitty. <laughs> we've got three ducks, we haven't even got them. They're over there in the blackberry somewhere. But uh, it's early days yet. The sun still hasn't come over the horizon. Uh, Plenty of other bangs going on. Yeah, some other people are having a good time, which is bloody fantastic. Um, <laughs> turns out I've got to fly to Panama tomorrow, which I'm not terribly excited about, but means I'll miss out on this evening shoot, which is stink has. Hopefully I'll get one more duck. We kind of wanted Sam to have a few shots too. Sam's our cameraman. Show Shot him your Sam. face, Sam. Shot Sam. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> He's always smiling. He's a happy chappy. He's a happy man. Just going to have a Nice cup of tea. There's a 
pig roaring over there. You can hear him, he keeps letting out the odd moan. Pretty awesome. No ducks. You can tell you've had a shit opening day when two ducks land at the far end of the pond and you send your mate off to flush them out. The wick is just sneaking up on them now. And the ducks are hiding in the bushes down the far end. They've pegged us, they've seen us, but they don't want to take off. They just swum into the reeds. This is my Mai Mai. For those of you followers that aren't from New Zealand, uh, a Mai Mai is Māori for choice hut. That's my choice hut or my Mai Mai. And uh, that's what we hide in to shoot the ducks. I think you fellas call them hides over in the States and I don't know what the English call them. You know, my nifty house or something like that, no doubt. But we're pulling pin. I think we shot three ducks Sunday morning. Bloody dismal. Should have dragged Hardy out of bed to go shoot the other pond. He's got a pond he's been saving for us, but changed his mind at the last moment and let us shoot this one that had already been shot. We're currently sitting on the side of the river and we've had heaps of ducks come in but they're landing about a hundred meters down there we're just off the bloody money we sussed out where this mob was there was one mob upstream a big mob upstream and a smaller mob downstream so we decided to go upstream we found heaps of feathers on the side of the bloody river and set up here in the dark and there's been big mobs of ducks that all bloody landing downstream we shot one mallard that landed out there oi was halfway to get it and then two parries flew over so we smoked them she bloody turned around and came in and got the parries Oh, two came just in about to land, but I was sitting up talking. <laughs> they headed for parts unknown. <laughs> Maybe I'll shut my big mouth. There's Smitty over there. Work is not here. Work has slept in. Didn't quite make it out for today's duck hunt. As well, we're not doing much duck shooting. <laughs> Heaps of duck hunting, but not much duck shooting. Right, I'm going to lie back down now. Because I can see... Two ducks on yon horizon. Aha. Rolling. <laughs> uh, no ducks were harmed <laughs> in the making of this short video clip. <laughs> that was some shitty shooting. It's kind of stink being a hunter and uh, trying to make hunting videos as well especially when there's bugger or game to be shot because you want to shoot stuff you don't want a video you just want to shoot <laughs> hence the reason my videos don't have a heck of a lot of kill shots in there because I don't have time to kill them in video at the same time <laughs> I'll show you the spoils of our efforts There's one paradise duck. And over there is another one. Looking very natural. Natural decoys. He's just uh, having a sleep. <laughs> we call that the sleeping parry. I think that was our morning duck shooting. Two paradise ducks and a mallard floating away down the river. A mallard drake too, of all things. Damn it! Quite like those drakes. Tasty little buggers. Uh, the sun is now rising on another beautiful day in South Westland. And uh, I've got nothing else to say really. I'll go over and interview Smitty. He might have some insightful words of insightfulness. Well, we set up in the wrong place, I think. Next time we'll uh, spend a bit more time looking for where the ducks are hanging out and uh, set up our camp there, I think. That's uh, some great, great words of wisdom from Smitty. He's right, we totally cocked it up. I don't get it because yesterday, the, oh, there's one down there. He's seen me. Oh, obviously Smitty's shotgun doesn't reach out to 250 meters. <laughs> I'll take it back for warranty. Hey, this thing doesn't only shoot straight. Went half deaf then, crikey. Well, 
We'll give it a week and then we'll come back and we'll set up a hundred meters downstream. Might got to put a, a marker tag or a couple of rocks in a pole there now so we know where to come next time. Oh, there's a magpie up there. I don't see many magpies on the coast. God dang it! We've had enough. <laughs> We're going to go have a cup of coffee and bloody drive home. Bye crikey. That just goes to show, if you're shooting loafing areas, you've got to be bang on the money. There were feathers on the side of the rocks here, on the side of the river on the rocks, but no shit. So I assumed we were in the right place because there was feathers there. But no, they were landing 100 metres downstream. They could also see something too. The ducks that were going to come in here came close and then they flared off, which indicates that they're seeing something that's not quite right. We had a fairly good setup. The dog's a little bit iffy. And uh, they might have been seeing the shotgun barrels. Might have to get some of that camo tape just camo the barrels up. Also, I reckon one of those spinning mojo ducks would make all the difference down here. I think a spinning mojo duck, they'd see the wings going round and would, would divert their attention from us onto that spinning duck and they'd come right in. So I think we're going to get our sticky paws on one of those ducks and try them out. See if they work. It was meant to be, it was meant to be an epic morning of duck shooting and as we're taking the decoys in there's bloody luck ducks bloody ducks still landing downstream and uh, they don't seem to be put off by us getting decoys always actually getting the decoys for us bloody good mongrel she is just some more ducks nothing that exciting really ducks up there ducks over there oh well <laughs> oh, Browning misfired. Any ducks floating out there? Oh, another one. Why, I do believe no ducks were harmed in the making of this video clip either. Where is it, Oi? Good girl. Now what she'll do is she'll get it and she'll bring it to the side of the river and won't bring it up here, if she gets it. Where is it, Oi? What do you reckon of my secret jump shooting spot? I reckon spot? it's mint. We need to clear some of this brush. We'll sneak up here with two guns and they'll be dead. It's pretty hard to shoot through those trees, isn't it? Yeah. Good girl, good girl, Oi. Go get him. We're, no, not that way. Keep going. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. It's the same old story again. My bloody duck dog's just kind of sniffing around in circles. We can see the pile of feathers out there. That's where the duck fell out of the sky. So it's probably just gone in those flax bushes and bloody oil is sniffing everywhere but the spot we want her to. Get out there, you bloody mongrel. Come here, Roy. give you a few words of wisdom. The duck's not going to be in the forest, it's going to be out in the water somewhere. <laughs> not in forest, in water. You oh, yeah. stupid dog. <laughs> go get him, oi! Go get him! Good girl, go get him! Where is it? Where is it? Need a stick to chuck out there. Where is it, mate? Good girl, bring it here. Yeah, bugger me, she's found it. <laughs> Didn't see that happening. <laughs> Good girl, bring it here. Quick, get it on camera. <laughs> I can't see, there's trees in the way. Bring it up here, mate. Ten bucks here, she brings it to the edge and drops it. Good girl, bring it here, Roy. Bring it here. Good girl. Look at that, you're a good dog. Holy shit, Smitty, you got one, I look. I got one, I actually <laughs> shot one. Not quite on target, but pretty good. What is it, mallard or grey? Grey. Grey duck. Is it? I think it's a grey. I think it's a grey. Good dog, oi. You're a good dog. You brought it here. Good girl. Just love that smell of gunpowder 
drifting through the forest on a cold winter's morning. Good dog. Oh, it's the last day of the season. It's starting to get light outside. You can't see through the camera. There's a shitload of ducks at the other end of the pond. And none down our end. Plenty of decoys out there. No gunshots yet. It's bowling around just after 7 o'clock. So. Half of the pond closing. Oh yeah, ice over half of the pond. Hopefully there'll be other people out duck shooting today, putting some birds in the air. Well, we got one parry. It's starting to get light now. There's been a few mallards flying over, but they've all been flying down to the other end of the pond. And then as soon as it got a little bit light, they just all took off. Bug it off. You know it's a shit closing day when you get excited if one duck flies over. <laughs> We're like, there's one, there's one, oh, he's coming around. And we give him the old whack, whack. Oh, he's, he's coming around again. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's coming around. Oh, is that one? Oh, it's a seagull. Oh, there he is. And we can see him on the horizon. There he is. He's coming in. Nah, he was too, he was on to us. He saw us and <laughs> off he goes. Oh, shit ass. Right, the Hikarangi Ripper work is working good today. We're setting up some nice ripples, not really calling any ducks. What do you reckon should we go home for a feed, bro? Yeah, well. <laughs> You're killing me! Oh. Back to the drawing board. First shot, I just fucking shot straight at him, didn't give me any lead. The second one tried to give him a bit and then the, had the jam and then it just went down all from there. Go on, get in that icy water. Go get those decoys. Go on, get in there you pussy. Hey, are you a dog or a cat? Get in that water. Go on, go get him. Go get him. You bloody mongrel! Get in there! Go on, get in there! Bloody dog doesn't want to get in the water to get the decoys. <laughs> right, just as well we got the grappling hook. The backup. I don't think it's going to reach those ones way out there. Shit! Go get him! Good girl! Go get him! Good girl! Good girl! Go get him! Here we are, last chance for a duck. Gonna float down the river for about four hours in the old canoe. Won't take the dog with us this time because she almost made us tip upside down last time we, we took her. She gets really excited and jumps around. Pretty primo, there's willows lining both sides of the river so fingers crossed we'll have a bit of luck. A bit more luck than we've had previously. Holy crap, we've seen a couple coming down and then two took off right in front of us and Weka jumped up in the front of the bloody canoe and I grabbed my camera and the boat almost went upside down and he managed to nail a couple. He's just run off into the forest to retrieve him there. Uh, we can't find the bloody thing. It was just in here somewhere but goodness knows. Look at that, there's a pig sign and deer sign all through here. It's encouraging but can't find where that bloody duck went. Maybe it's up. Good no size, joy, bro. Good sized pig and deer sign, though. Yeah. But no duck. Bugger. Wicker's pocket was undone. He's just lost his ciggies and his duck caller now. <laughs> He's cruising around in the forest trying to find them. We could be here a while. That duck caller's under the boat. Ciggies are in the boat. Uh, ten minutes later, false alarm. Back on the water. Pretty fresh deer sign up there. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of ducks took off downstream. Maybe shouldn't have shot at that one, but can't find it. We're only a couple hundred meters in, so let's carry on. <laughs> yeah, missed those ones. <laughs> oh. Jeez, it's bloody hard to film the action. Yeah, look, there's some feathers floating down. <laughs> didn't get any ducks getting shot, but I got some feathers. Where'd the other one go? Is he in the trees or not? It's over there. Yeah. Alright, you better go get him. Oh, 
Jesus, most of them. Go lift him. Put these trainers up there. <laughs> that was close and good white water canoeing skills coming in here before we hit these trainers. Oh, look. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Too high. <laughs> it's a grey, isn't it? To you. Ah, oh, shit. Whoops. Oopsie. Oh, well. There you go. It was uh, a teal. Bit of a mistake there. And, uh, we're just so used to seeing a duck fly and opening up that don't even think to identify those things. I've never seen a teal like that. What sort of teal is it? Brown teal. Brown teal. Yep. And they're off the menu, aren't they? Off the menu. Oh well, biff it back in. Yeah, it's got a bit of a de demented foot. Oh yeah, it has too. Did you get any, bro? Fucking none, bro. <laughs> oh, we almost went in then, too. <laughs> Pretty long shots, though. <laughs> right there. Where is he? There he is. Jeez, I thought you were going to shoot my head off then. Oh, just like, hit the bottom of the boat. Bloody hell, we just missed a heap of ducks. They all took off downstream because we were being too noisy. Yakking away, and then we got real close, and then two of them just burst out of the willows. One there, one just downstream. Too bloody slow with the camera. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Not after swans today. Oh, pretty sweet. Not as many ducks as we thought down there, but we got a couple. Missed a couple. Saw some trout. Bit of pig sign. That was the 2014 duck shooting season. I hope everyone out there had a bloody better season than we did. It was pretty dismal. Stink. Loser Cruiser's got a flat tyre. Supposed to be driving a Christchurch today, but I've only got one of those space saver rims. So. Well, you wouldn't bloody read about it. Put the uh, the space saver on. It was all good. Drove back up the hill we just drove down and got another flat tire. We couldn't see what punctured it, but I don't think it's the same whatever it was that put the hole in the other tire. But now we got two flat tires stuck out in the middle of nowhere. What do you reckon, Oi? Sting gay. Should have stuck with the mean machine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, turns out I cocked that one up because uh, these spare tyres here, these space savers, take 60 psi. It's a hell of a lot of pressure. And I just poked the, the nozzle in when we bought the car to check the spare tyre, put it on 32 and it would have let half of the pressure out of it. So when we put the spare tyre on, the space saver, and drove up the hill, because there wasn't any pressure in it, she just rolled off the rim. But uh, the good folks at Lake Brunner Motors have fixed our spare, our first flat tyre, they fixed that and because there was a slice in it they've replaced the tyre with another second hand tyre they had and they're just going to charge us the uh, the price of fixing a flat tyre so bloody good bastards, thanks guys Alright, we're back on the road again Primo could have been in a bit of strife there because deep freeze in the back it's got 10 chamois and tarskins in and about nine kilo of white bait that I'm taking over Christchurch to get tanned and to sell. So 
that uh, that could have all gone pear shaped quite bloody quickly. But uh, thanks to the good folks, the good folks at Lake Brunner Motors, we are back on the road again. Beats is a bit mounted.